Hello everyone and welcome to the course on Postman Mock Server with Conditional Response. So what we are going to do in this video? So we are going to do some magic for you in this video. Well, I leave it up to you for you to decide whether that was a magic or blopper. Okay, so what we are going to do in this video, we are going to create a mock server that is for a get request and for the post request. Sometimes what happens like when we want to create a mock server, we want to get conditional responses. Let's say if we send a request parameter that is x equals to 1 or any request parameter for that matter, we want to get a different response, right? And if we send a different parameter, then we want to get a different response. Maybe a, a success or a response B can be a failure response or a success response with different parameters, right? So with this get request, just by changing this value, we want to get two different responses that we will be seeing in this video. How do we create a mock server that is having a conditional responses? All right. Similarly, for the post request, we will be uh, sending one request body and that will be generating one response. And if we send a different request body, we get a different response. All right. So again, this can be a success or a failure response. We'll see that in more details when we dive into deep. Along with that, we are also going to generate these dynamic responses. It means that the response that we set in the mock server mostly be a hard coded responses. But in this video, we are also going to cover dynamic response where our responses will be varying based on the request that we are sending. It will be looking more realistic. All right. So before moving to the main content, I just want to appeal to you guys that this is my channel. Please subscribe to it so that I will get more motivation to make more videos like this. All right, so let's move on to our Postman console. So I am on to my Postman console, and here I will be going to create a mock server. There are two ways to create a mock server. Either you can go to this mock server tabs, and you can create a mock server from here, or you can click on this new button where you can create the mock server by clicking on this button. All right, so we'll create a mock server from here. Here you need to have a collection in order to mock it, right? If you have a collection already that you want to mock, you can select from the existing collections. Or if you don't have a collection, you can just go ahead and create a new collection. All right. So in our collection, we will be having a get request and a post request. All right. So the get request endpoint URL that I will be using is employee. This is the get request. And the default response I want to give 200 success with the response body as status status as success all right and i also want to create a post request that will be employee detail and i also want to keep a request body with it so i will just select the request body and in the request body i just want to provide a mobile number let's say i am providing this mobile number and I want to get a 200 response and the response body I want is this one. Okay. We can edit these responses at later point also. So it doesn't matter whatever you keep it for now. You can edit at later point of time also. All right. So I will click on next. And in here it is asking me to provide this mock server name. I will name it employees mock. And if you want to create an environment, you can just select on this checkbox to create a new environment. All right. And after this, just create the mock server. So our mock server is created and this is the URL of that mock server. And with the same name, this is the mock server and with the same name, a collection will be created. So this is an employee mock collection and it will be having a get request and a post request. If you expand this get request, you will be seeing this default example all right and you will also have this post request you will be seeing this default example so in this default example if you go and check you will be seeing whatever we set we have got it here if you want to make any changes in this uh, i want to make this a uh, json response i can just go and edit it from here and just click on this save button all right so how can you test this? You can click on this employees tab. It will open a new tab where you can send the request, right? So 
if you send the request now you will be getting a 200 success response where this uh, url will be your mock server url you can select the mock server environment by default it is taking the url if you want if it is not working for you you can select the environment that you have set employee mock is the environment that we created and the same url will be updated in here all right when you send it it will be giving you a 200 success response now what if i want a failure response i don't want a 200 success response i will just go ahead and duplicate this default example and it's a duplicate copy i will just rename it to 500 internal server error all right and now in this example you can go ahead and edit as per your wish i want to keep it failure and i want to give this a 500 internal server error just click on save button but will this work as of now i don't think so if you send it it will send you the default response it will not send you the bad request right in order to get this 500 bad request you need to make some changes in your request like when do you want this 500 bad request so either you can make some changes in the header or if you have a parameter you can make some changes all right so in this example i can go ahead and set the key let's let me set the key as mobile and when i send the mobile value as one two three four that time give me a 500 internal server error all right just click on the save button and go to the employees now when you send it you will get a success response right when you send a query parameter as mobile and the value is one two three four now when you send it you will get a 500 internal server error status as failure all right so this is how you can make some conditions to get the desired response the postman internally uses the matching algorithm to match those requests what happens if i change it to one two three four five what does it send it to me it will still send me 500 bad request because as, as long as it is having some parameter it will be sending me this same error all right but instead of that what if i want to get a 400 error if i pass the five digit mobile number so in that case also I, you can figure out how we can do that just rename this request to 400 bad request all right and then in here you can just type 400 bad request in this case also i want to get a failure but when do i want to get this failure when there is one two three four five all right save it do not forget to save it because you will not be getting the response now we need to go to the get request you passed one two three four five in that case you will be getting a 400 bad request now let's come to the post request in the post request we will be using the request body to match our parameters let me open the uh, post request it will open a new tab where we can send the request and let's see what is the default response that i have set so this is the default response we have set and we are getting it right it's a html response that's why it is not uh, colored let me go ahead and change the default response to json now it's a json response and in the body we are sending this mobile this one let me also keep it to json beautify and save it now when you go to the post request you can modify the body as a json body now when you send it it will be giving you a 200 success response what if i want to get a different response a 500 or a 400 response i will do the same thing i will just go ahead and duplicate this request i will name it as 500 internal server error all right now in the response i want a 500 internal server error in the response body i want something different error code 500 in the error message i will keep mobile number validation failed and in the body i want to send a different parameter let's say instead of the number i'm sending a alphabetical value that time you should say that the mobile number validation failed just save it all right now go to your post request and instead of one two three four you just send x x x x and this time when you send it you will be getting a 500 internal server error 
all right what if you want a success response with different parameters so let me go ahead and duplicate the success response so this is a success second success response and in this one i just want to change the user id 1234 and the mobile number 1345 all right and in the body i'm just going to change it to 12345 now save it i should be getting a different success response instead of the default response because this is the best matching request right so i will go to the post request and instead of mobile number i will send 12345 this time it should give me a success response yeah we got a success response with different user id and mobile number right so this is how you mock a post request now let's come to the last part where we are going to use a dynamic response all right so this is not a realistic right you get a user id one two three four five every time you get the same mobile number that is a hard coded response you are not getting a realistic response right so the actual server it will be sending you a different response every time you send a post request right okay so to make it look more realistic like a real server let me do some changes that will make our response look more dynamic you can keep this user id as a random alphanumeric random alphanumeric number these are already predefined in postman what if you want the same mobile number that you have passed in the request body for that you can keep this piece of code the first parameter will be from your request body and the mobile that is the key of the request body all right i want the name as a random name so random full name you can keep this as a random email and in place of address you can keep random random city all right just save it now when you send the post request you will be getting this value is as random so mobile number whatever we have passed we are getting it here the name the email and the address right if you are passing one two three in the mobile you will be getting one two three in the mobile with the user id different all right so this is how you make your mocks a more realistic all right so i hope this has given you some idea on how to make your conditional responses and how to make them dynamic so if you have any problem or something is not working you can just write it in the comment section i will just try to give a solution for that and if you are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have really learned something from this video today i request you to please press the like button so that i can reach to more and more people all right so my next video will be on how do you take the values from an excel sheet and pass it into your request parameter or request body or headers you will be taking all the values from the excel then we will be generating the response we will be saving those responses again in the same excel sheet so that's the uh, topic of our next video so thanks for watching see you in the next video